Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up unique permissions for a file or folder in SharePoint. If you like SharePoint, Teams, Power BI, Power Apps, and Power Automate videos, feel free to subscribe because we'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so in this video, let's go ahead and set up some unique permissions for my folders or files in my marketing SharePoint. So we have a document library here on the left-hand side. It is the documents. So this document library inherits the SharePoint's permissions. So anyone that has access to the SharePoint has access to this document library. And that's fine, but let's say I have a few folders or files in here that I only want specific people to have access to. Before we get started, you do need elevated permissions to be able to do this on your SharePoint. So you might need to be an owner of the SharePoint or contact the owner to set this up. So to start my library settings, if I click on the cog wheel in library settings, and if I click on more library settings, this will take us to the permissions for the documents document library. I go ahead and click on permissions for this document library, we can see that it is inheriting the SharePoint sites permissions. So whoever has access to the SharePoint also has access to that. So this is who has access to my SharePoint. So let's go back, that's fine. Uh, everyone should be able to access the documents in my case. So let's say the summer project, I only want to restrict to people working on it. So that'd be the owners and let's say we can add Bob to it as well. So if I go ahead and click on the summer project, click on the triple dot, go to manage access. So we see that Abby, Bob has access and it looks like everyone else. Uh, let's go ahead and click on more options to advanced settings. And we see that this is currently inheriting the documents document library permissions. Let's go ahead and stop inheriting permissions because I don't want to share it with everybody on the site. I only want to share it with Bob and the marketing owners. Let's go ahead and highlight everyone else that we don't want to have access. So I can check mark everybody and go ahead and click on remove. And now we only have Bob Green and the marketing owners having access to the summer project folder. So if I go ahead and go back in, click on manage access, we have Bob Green here and the marketing owners only have access to it. So we restricted it to only those people can see this folder. When anyone else goes into the documents document library, they'll be able to see everything else, but they won't be able to see the summer project unless they're an owner or Bob Green. It's going to be the same thing for files. So let's say I wanna restrict this document right here. Let me go ahead and rename it to sensitive information. Of course, she wouldn't want to keep the sensitive information in a public document library. Let's say I want to restrict this. So I want to restrict this to only the owner. So I go back to manage access. I can go in, go to advanced settings. I find going into the advanced settings a lot easier to manage than doing it in that little pop-up. Sure, you can do it in the little pop-up, but this is a lot cleaner to do, and I recommend going in here and doing it. So we just go on ahead and delete the unique permissions. And let me go ahead and restrict this to only the owners. Go ahead and remove user access. So now only the owners have access to this file. And if I go back, go to manage access, mark it on owners only. Let me go back to advanced settings and let's say I made a mistake and everyone should have access to this. It's easy to do that. We can go ahead and click on delete unique permissions and it will restore everybody that was previously on it. So whoever has access to the documents document library now has access to this because it inherits those permissions. Let's say I only want to give everyone else view access to this and only the owner should have full control. And go ahead and click on everybody else. Edit user permissions. So as all the users that I selected and let me go ahead and give them read access only. So they can't make edits, they can't really do much, but they can read the document. So it will show here and that's perfect. And then if you wanna grant permissions to somebody, 
Uh, you can go ahead and invite people. Um, I, my organization doesn't have a ton of people, so I'll go ahead and use Bob Green again. And let's say I wanted to send him an invite. Uh, I usually ch uncheck send an email invitation unless it's one user or two. Because I don't want to, let's say I use like a distribution list or an email group to share this file with. I don't want it to send like 20 people an email. So I usually uncheck mark that. Let's just say we want to give Bob edit access and go ahead and click on share. And it looks like it couldn't find them. So let me go ahead and use the other Bob Green. There we go. So if I click on refresh, Bob Green now has edit and reaccess. So whatever one's a higher permission, that will supersede the other one. So in this case, he's got edit and read. Edit will supersede the read so he can edit the file. So I hope that solves some issues with um, permissions and SharePoint. I know it's a pretty short video, but if you don't know how to do this, this is good information. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. If you like it, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.